when it comes to music, you have to compromise either with the sound quality or the portability. But let's see if this thing combines the flavor from both of the boats. This is Adionic Coco C7. So let's talk about the packaging first. Uh, packaging is pretty good and as it's been shipped so you can see it's again messed up but let's talk about the front front has the image and then it says bluetooth version 5.0 and now on the side some specs which are 5.2 bluetooth version high quality audio and play time is up to one hour which is kind of step back but it has some kind of condition we will see later sd card sported usb sported and rechargeable battery portable lightweight you also get a fm radio too and it can support up to 32 uh, gigs of card in case you don't have your phone or playlist from you can play it from directly with the uh, SD card inserting in it and on the other side the description in there okay so this is the thing I was talking about recharge full before you use it for the first time that keep in mind that will uh, make your battery life better and then battery run time up to one hour depend on the music loudness so that's pretty much it uh, the box itself and now let's unravel this thing so out of the box you get a speaker and a charging cable we'll come back to that later and what else we have in here let's see to see that's pretty much it okay so this is the coco c7 uh, appreciation for the purchase and also on the side, same thing comes with the warranty card so keep in mind to keep this thing safe just in case it thinks get uh, goes out so let's open this thing and see what we have here so a bunch of instruction how we can use it that's pretty much thing yep that's pretty much it I guess yes so now let's move to the main parts okay so here we have the speaker and the charging cable which is also always micro usb it's gonna take time uh to change because type c is a revolutionary when it comes charging but products are being made uh decades ago with the uh, type a charging so you can replace it anyways now talking about the build quality i mean it's personally when holding it for the first time it's good it feels uh, a premium weight to it like premium weight uh, means that uh, it's not that much heavy or not that light that you feel like it's a bunch of a toy okay on the side you get a USB again that can support USB directly and then you have a menu button and pause and play and volume up and down on the side charging port micro usb and headphone jack or aux for aux cable uh, to make it more uh, the song quality more better uh, we will test it that out later and sd card on set okay so talking about the build quality it's premium i must say that because uh, the texture over all around the size of the ionic speaker is matte so you not be catching any fingerprints and it's very grippy so it feels like it's 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 good for rugged uh, adventurous people who are into the adventure and want to have some kind of entertainment in their pocket on the top is the pretty interesting part uh coming we'll come back to that later at the bottom is the switch which is very unconventional way to put it but here it is it probably to make it the uh, design more sleeker and a matte plastic at the bottom finishing and the jet texture black on the top so yeah y'all be wondering what is this 
this is the part that really intrigued me like wanted me to buy this thing it's the uh, phone mount or whatever the gadget you are playing from you can put it here just let me just show you this thing so you just put it like this and boom you see how easy that becomes for you it's a convenient it's like a home mini home theater uh when it comes to playing music it's easy or if you're trying to watch something and you need a mount for your device it's here you can put a landscape in a landscape mode you can put it in a portrait uh in either positions and that's pretty much it so now let's turn it on and see this bad boy Audionic, the sound master. The Bluetooth device is ready to pair. Now let's connect this thing up. Let's go to the settings. Already at the settings. And then connection. And then Bluetooth. Turn it off. Make sure you to turn it off. So when it's in pairing mode, it will keep on flashing the blue light. And let's search for the name Audionic BD. That's you have to search for the name and once you tap on it, it will give you the confirmation you, uh, from the speaker itself. The Bluetooth device is connected successfully. There it is. So the sound, you can see it's pretty loud. And now let's check the sound quality on this. Now let's come to the main part and see what this mini speaker is capable of. I will start the with the low volume and then gradually increase the volume here we go Okay, so as you hear the bass or music, it's pretty good. You can see for, for the price and for the speaker, this small thing is capable of a lot of huge things. And this was the uh, sound check or the music check for the speaker. And now let's move towards the video or you can say the quality of the regular videos technology is always about the convenience and here i have another product that is much of a revolutionary for me though personally i loved it so you can see it's already charged most time mostly like if you are going with the third party um chargers it might gonna be a problem for you because it can damage your battery life all right so quick summary that the music is on point so but if you're trying to play music or if you have some more vocals in it if about like 90 percent if you put the sound at 90 percent it's good to go but as soon as you do the 100 the sound will start cracking and it will be unclear to play or what you ever playing let me just play it for you to see, yeah so that you guys can understand so here it comes the magnetic cable that i figured is probably the best solution that you might get the voice is uh cracking a bit and this was using a bluetooth version and then if you go with the aux cable you might be surprised the quality might be different on this one and let's unplug the aux cable and see is it any better so here it is let's aux input mode you see it changes and lets you know that uh it goes into the aux mode and see how this thing goes okay let me just turn off the bluetooth so that we make sure that we are not using the bluetooth here 
let's play this uh, in terms of charging your phone so here we have the box again uh, it's a curse for me that every time I get the box it's um, messed up but pretty uh, with the aux cable insert in it it's a slight difference it can make it more loud but it's not that uh, of any uh, clearer and let's play some music using aux and see how that is effective and let me just find the best again Right. usually we find difference when it comes to a wireless connectivity versus the wired one but somehow I am not uh, getting any difference uh, regarding the aux cable whatsoever that's pretty much it guys this is the review for the Audionic Coco C7 and hope you guys liked it and hope I covered everything guys again uh again a humble request to subscribe to reach thousand subscriber we are at 250 plus subscriber and it's been long i've been posting for like a year now about so and i feel like uh they you guys with your guys help that we can uh boost our youtube algorithm and if you sub already subscribe don't forget to uh press the bell button or notification button because it will notify because a lot of uh some of my subscribers are not notified that's a problem for them because or for me also that when they're trying to uh when i put the video they are not uh getting notified or and uh for startup content you need a lot of uh viewers and here i am trying to do every day hustling every day for you guys to make create a good quality content and that's pretty much it and uh, stay tuned for this one as i said it's gonna be pretty wild a lot of things are coming and till then take care of your loved ones yourself and goodbye